Thank you for staying with us on the newsroom. Minority Leader of the Senate and Abia South Senator Einaya Abaribe has officially resigned membership of the People's Democratic Party PDP to join the All Progressives Congress, All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA. Abaribe's resignation letter was read by the President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, during Wednesday's plenary. Abaribe's intention to resign was announced during plenary on Tuesday. Governor Hope Uzodema of Imo State has advised Nigerians to shun religious politics and avoid fanning the flames of ethnicity ahead of the 2023 general elections. The governor gave the advice when he addressed state house correspondents after a closed-door meeting with President Mohamed Buhari in the state house, Abuja, on Tuesday. According to him, the decision to choose a running mate lies with the presidential candidate of the ruling APC, Bola Tinubu, and not with the governors. Chief Whip of the Senate, Oji Uzo Kalu, has proposed the Muslim Muslim ticket as a critical factor for the All Progressives Congress, APC, to win the presidential election in 2023. Kalu made the remarks on Wednesday in an interview with journalists at the National Assembly Complex in Abuja, the nation's capital. The lawmaker, while arguing that it was impossible for a southern minority Muslim and a northern minority Christian to win a presidential election in Nigeria, he maintained that there was nothing wrong if the APC decides to field a Muslim-Muslim ticket for the election. In COVID-19 updates, the Center for Information Technology and Development has trained data managers of primary healthcare agencies from some selected states of northern Nigeria on vaccine data management. Speaking on Tuesday during the first batch of the training exercise in Gombe, Coordinator of Public Education on COVID-19 Project, CITAD, Hamza Ibrahim, disclosed that the training was in partnership with the MacArthur Foundation, adding that it is to sensitize each of the 19 states on the importance of data. The coordinator said the training is expected to build the capacities of the data managers. Latest report released by the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, has indicated that Nigeria's inflation rate has hit 17.71% in May on a year-on-year -year basis, the highest level in 11 months. It further said that on a month-on-month -month basis, the headline index increased to 1.78% in May 2022, representing a 0.02% point higher than the 1.76% rate recorded in April 2022. MBS, however, said that on a month-on-month -month basis, the urban index rose to 1.81% in May 2022. On the global scene, Russia has said it will establish a humanitarian corridor to evacuate civilians from a chemical plant in Severodonetsk, starting from Wednesday as Ukrainian forces wage a desperate battle for control of the city. The industrial hub is under intense bombardment as Russia focuses its offensive on the eastern Donbass region in an effort to seize a swath of Ukraine. About 500 civilians are taking shelter in Severodonetsk Azot chemical plant, according to the head of the city's administration. In sports, Jose Mourinho is set to return to Camp Nou in August after Barcelona confirmed the face-off against Roma in a pre-season friendly on Wednesday. Mourinho was last at Camp Nou for a competitive fixture in 2013 towards the end of his contract as manager of Real Madrid. The fixture against Roma will be played on August 6 for the Juan Gamba Trophy and will also be contested by the club's women's teams. That is on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Simisola Adikon.